In this video, we are going to talk about a 10 week strategy before J means one to crack it. Most of the students writing J attempt one at this point of time will be asking these many questions in their mind. How to revise this immense syllabus? How to complete this syllabus? What to prepare? And in what order? What to practice? How much and when to write the test? How to analyze those tests and improve them? And what if I require more help at the level of topics? Then how it is going to work out? Now before answering any of these questions, which might definitely come into your mind, you need to be very systematic in your analysis. You need to understand correctly what needs to be done, why we need to do it and how to accomplish it. In order to do that, the first step should be to analyze the weightage of different topics in the exam. Now if I go to weightage of different types of topics in the exam, if I just talk about physics, you can see that these many topics have different kinds of Modern physics is having the highest weightage. Then you can see there is thermodynamics, there is optics, there is current electricity and there is an order of these topics. If you want, you can pause this video and note this weightage is down. If I move forward, you can see that there are remaining topics which have lesser amount of weightage compared to the other topics. But it has been noticed since last few years that in physics, the paper is really easy. So it is highly advisable that you touch upon all the topics and do them at least in a shape that you are able to attempt all the questions from these topics. Now if I go towards the weightage of chemistry, again you can see there is a order of different kinds of weightages. There is weightage of transition element and coordinate chemistry, periodic table, representative elements, thermodynamics etc. And those weightages are again given down. If you want to note it down, you can pause the video and do so. Similarly, we have topics with lesser amount of weightage that are again given here. Now what sometimes a student will feel is there is a topic that I have not done but again that topic has very less weightage. So you may need to make a conscious decision that what is the order of topics based on weightage and my ability. See this word second word is very important my ability. I should choose the topic in that order. So first thing is the topics that you can do and are higher in weightage should be taken first. The topics that you think are difficult to do but higher in weightage should be taken second and then probably topics with lesser weightage can be chosen. So largely speaking you can divide your preparation in three to four stages where you consciously choose the topic based on your ability to do those topics and the weightage in the exam. If I do the same kind of analysis in mathematics you can see there was coordinate geometry which were having simpler questions also and higher weightage also. So you can see that again there is a weightage of topics in mathematics given on the screen. If you again want you can pause the video and note them down. What is important here to understand that in mathematics unlike physics and chemistry the paper was tough. Most of the students were not able to attempt 100% of the exam. So it would be a wise strategy to choose few of these topics at least 60 to 70% syllabus and prepare that nicely. Again the remaining weightage is given here. You can note it down if you want. See once you have understood the weightage, now this should be the idea to move forward. Divide this weightage into a 10 week plan or 10 blocks and where your strategy should be that you are doing one of these blocks in a week, this should be your strategy and in that block you should target that I should at least do 6 topics in a week. That would mean 2 topics per subject. So if you are one of those person who get bored by a subject, you can do today physics, then next day chemistry, then mathematics and then physics, chemistry, mathematics in that order in six days a week. But if you are one of those students who wants to focus more on one subject in a continuous manner, so then you can choose two days physics, two days chemistry and two days mathematics. The idea is to cover six topics in a week you know, or a block in a week. Idea is basically then if we break down this block into a day, it will break it down into one topic per day. Now understand that you had lot to do but you have broken, broken down your strategy into a daily basis strategy. So we have a goal, we want to do the whole syllabus. Yes, we want to do that. We have broken that down into 10 blocks now. Blocks which make sense for me. General blocks for all the students might not make sense. So a block that makes sense to you in terms of weightage as well as vis-a-vis vis -vis doability. Doability is a very important word. People will take up tasks which is very difficult to accomplish in the starting. 
that will lead to loss in motivation and if you're not motivated enough your journey then you are going to leave it in between you are going to become demotivated and your study hours will go down automatically so it is very important that you take only those steps that are motivating encouraging for you and for doing that making these blocks in a very systematic manner is a very good strategy then breaking it down on a weekly basis then again breaking it down on a daily target now see let us say that today's target is to do quadratic equation so what i mean to do in that so idea should be you should go back to your class notes revise it from the class notes if you have done short notes nothing like that i will highly advise to go and watch my revision video in which i have clearly told you how to use short notes for your revision in a gist we can understand that if you have already made short notes give one hour every day in the morning to revise those short notes you might be able to revise the whole syllabus in one day if you do not know the trick to do it go and watch my revision video now if you are taking this one topic in this day you can start from your class notes then go to your assignments and more importantly out of those assignments there is one very important thing that is nothing but previous year questions so what is important is it is fine you do the whole assignment but at least do five years pyq these are very important in mathematics it will also help to not just do pyq of means but pyq of advanced as well now once you have done that in prag we are going to post one video of analysis and discussion of these pyqs and on a daily basis for 6 days in a week this will largely help you if you follow the prag bi channel and this will again help you build this block one more time so once you have done that it is highly recommendable that you write a test of this block that you have done in a weekly basis so now you started with a week you have a 10 week strategy into place every week there are topics to be done and in that week you are, you are doing approximately six topics it can be seven also five also you are doing one topic on a daily basis you revise your lecture notes after that you have solved the pyqs of the last five years and now once you have done that you have gone to the video of the prag on the prag bi channel to watch how analysis of those pyqs if you have not understood something or the smallest way to or the shortest way to do, solve those questions it is a very good idea to watch that video one shot video and then you then you come back and write a mock test so this weekly mock test will ascertain that that block that you are trying to prepare is now better so these are two kinds of tests if you target one is block test on a weekly basis another one would be a full syllabus test now why are we doing this see every week we should also get this feeling that okay i did x amount of syllabus now vis a vis for example i did 20% of syllabus so am i getting 20% marks or i am getting 10% marks so where are those 5% marks going so it does not matter if i get 5% 10% 15% 20% but it should be proportional to amount of syllabus that i am preparing in the blocks if that is happening you will largely see that slowly your full test scores are going up and this will be highly motivating do not judge this full syllabus test paper on the basis of how much is the cut off last year and how much i am doing it it is not a very good strategy right from the day one itself even if you are doing that have a very systematic mindset into place how you are going to improve it if you can think of a way to improve it large you will find a lot of motivation but if you do it in such a manner where you depress yourself okay i am unable to do what will i do then it becomes difficult see once you have done that now you have got a comprehensive strategy i have given you what needs to be done the blocks needs to be prepared in a very systematic manner using weightage of the exam how to do it in a week so you take one block in a week you break it down into daily targets and once you have achieved those targets using class notes assignment based on pyqs and a one shot video on the pragbi website you are largely good to go on that day then you can test yourself on a weekly basis by writing a block test on the same set of topics that you have chosen or and write a full syllabus test to understand how your overall preparation is going so this two test these three activities on a daily basis and these 10 blocks are are a bullet proof strategy to crack j at this point of time and if you follow this strategy lastly speaking along with my revision video you will see that slowly your preparation will start accumulating and you will not going to have to answer all those five six questions that i wrote in the starting because those questions do not make a lot of sense those are nothing but expressions of anxiety at this point of time so this is a full proof method that you can follow to get through the exam now what i can do further now in order to make your life even simpler we have come up with a prag bi revision program 
Now you might, you can as well do this on your own. But what I have seen is basically students are unable to ma maintain consistency without a consistent support over a period of time. So for you to maintain consistency and find the support system in terms of what to do today, in terms of what to practice today, if you are lacking some resource from where the resource will come from, we have come up with a comprehensive revision program. In that, we have a week-wise strategy into place. You can see that in week one, from 29 to 4th, we have a block into place. Now, these blocks, you can see, are decided on the base of weightage that I have provided here. So, we are considering two factors. One, the weightage of the topics and second, the doability of the topic. And third, the planning in which the student will be able to absorb and do it along with this program. So, considering these multiple factors, not just the weightage, as I told you in the starting, we have made these blocks. You can see that every week you are getting approximately six topics to prepare and this is a very good strategy because in one day if you follow the practice method you would easily be able to do it so you have 10 blocks you can see these 10 blocks are based on their importance and you can see that we are also following this one more criteria that after this 10 weeks till 6 Jan, you might have covered 100% syllabus in physics 100% syllabus in chemistry that is very essential these days to reach the magical number of 200 marks in JE mains exam. Yes, nowadays the criteria to crack JE mains is no more 180 marks, it is 200 plus marks at least. So by doing this 100 and 100% here and even 100% in mathematics, you have covered 100% syllabus without any worry and in a very systematic manner in 10 weeks without worrying about anything. So this is a comprehensive revision program you can see. Now if I talk about what we are going to do, we are going to cover the syllabus in 10 weeks, 100% syllabus and by the time we reach first week of Jan, and it, there are chances that your JE exam is going to happen in the second week of Jan or beyond that, we might have easily covered 100% syllabus. Second thing, what we are doing is basically on a weekly basis, you can see if I take a week, this is my first week. So I am covering this week is starting from 29th October to 4th November. We start our program on 29th October. In the first week, these are the topics. Modern physics, which includes semiconductors, we are covering that. You can see it is 17% weightage. Very high weightage topic. So one fifth of the syllabus is getting covered just in the first week. Again, this is a topic that we are covering in chemistry. The logic behind that is after that, we will take some inorganic chapters. So you will have, if you have missed on to something, you will have some time to fall back and cover whatever questions you are unable to practice in this one week. And in vectors, we, we are in mathematics, we are taking, taking vectors in 3D because these two topics will give you 13% weightage and are highly important. Also, one more added advantage is J has cut down the syllabus last year. One more added advantage is basically this is a class 12 topic that you have just done. So there is a lot of planning and thinking that went into designing what topic to do when. And now you can see that once we have covered that in a week, what we are doing is we are conducting a block test on 4th November. We are also giving you full syllabus test on 4th November. If you keep writing this test along with this plan, largely you are set to cover whole the syllabus in a very satisfactory manner. All the planning I told you is getting implemented by design. If I move forward, you can see that if I look into a week, we are top, we are going to cover one topic per day. So target is to cover approximately six topics in a week, as I already told you, and write a block test and mock test in the weekend. Moving forward, if I look into what will I do in a day? So again, your daily strategy also we are helping you to implement. Pragmi will call your day from 12.30 p.m. to 12.30 p.m. next day. So we are not calling the day from morning to evening. We are calculating it from 12.30 today to 12.30 next day. The reason behind that is our plan is to give you a class in the morning around 12.30. In that class, we will briefly revise the topic and take some important questions that are relevant for it. Give you a short notes of the topic, a problem survey of the topic. And along with that, give you an assignment of last five years based on PYQ. So now we have set yourself for winning because we have already given you the revision in the morning. So your confidence is already high in the topic that I do not know to go back to the class notes and again revise it. Second, we have also given you short notes. If you want to refer back something fast, you can again do it. And we have also given you a problem survey in the class so that you understand these kind of problems are there in the topic. Now, 
along with that once you solve this pyqs and you know, spending your morning and after 12:30 to 1:30 you are free you can spend the rest of the day in doing this practice because practice is going to be the most critical thing target solving anywhere around 75 questions plus on a daily basis and you are set to win in this exam this is very important and that is the reason we are not conducting the classes whole day we are giving you time to practice that is very crucial most of the revision programs are very crowded they will want to do a lot of things in a day and because of which you will not get enough time to do questions and that is the most important skill set that is going to change your fortune in the exam so you can see that after that we are giving you time to do this practice and then we'll push a one shot video in this one shot video all of these assignments or most of these assignments questions are already given in the form of video solutions so in that assignment if you are doing and figure outing some question that okay this question i am unable to do you can go back to that video and watch that specific solution and get the required answer of that question and the solution as well you can see that a day in pragvi is getting very well planned very well guided you have a support system of faculty that can help you out in the journey ठीक now let us say that despite this you think that i need more sir uh, the classes are happening it is fine in a group but i want a one on one kind of a system then you can upgrade this program so largely speaking most of the crash courses are un non upgradable and after 5 after 5 or 6 days or 10 days down the line you will realize that sir i require more one on one support there are few topics you told me in brief in the starting in the form of a revision in 11.5 hours but despite that i require more more help in that topic hai na so if you have figured out few areas where you require more help then pragvi's program are upgradable upwards that would mean what we can do is we can sit with you a senior faculty will sit with you understand your constraints and you know, where you are facing problem develop a more customized plan and you know, that is just designed for you so this is a general plan that is designed keeping a lot of constraint into place but you have some more constraints that are still stopping you to implement the plan so it becomes a more customized strategy that we are going to follow and we are going to implement it through one is to one classes so there the classes were happening in group you can now upgrade this program into a one on one program where you can have one to one classes because the reality of the situation is you require more help if you require more help then without that help you are not going to improve in the long run and the first attempt will largely not go in the right direction so it is the right kind of time you implement these one on one classes along with the faculties whatever things are getting solved the plan is getting implemented and your constraints are getting resolved so this is an upward mobility program wherein if you require more help you can upgrade it to this one on one classes now a very important question who should not join this program <laughs> so if you are a student that who has completely lost any sense of motivation i cannot crack the exam then believe me that nobody at this point of time can motivate or can tell you that okay you do these things you will be able to crack the exam that is not going to happen 5 days 2 days 3 days you will go and watch some motivation video you will find the motivation and after that it will drain away my idea is that you focus on skill sets and a program in this case a one on one program will work much better for you second is basically in you have lots of constraint so again you can see that the group program is not going to work for you if you require lot of constant tracking you have lot of constraints then go for the one on one program don't go for the batch program that we are running second is basically there is no self belief and you want somebody to talk to you at a personal level then again the group program is not going to work the one on one program is going to work much better so if you are a student with a lot of programs like lack of motivation and you require constant tracking you lack self belief then do not go for the pragbis mass revision program go for one on one program this will make more sense for you because you will get what you require in this program and not from the first program so now let us come back to the question that we started with so if you follow this program now you clearly know that how to revise things you know how to complete the syllabus you know what to prepare when to prepare in what order you will know how much to practice what to practice you will know how much to write testing how to write test and you are getting test analysis etc as a part of this course and if you need more help there is a one on one program to upgrade things up so largely this pragvi revision program the mass revision as well as one on one program is designed in such a manner that every student will benefit out of it 